Do you ever feel like you're all alone in the world? Like nobody understands you or maybe even like nobody cares about you? Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Beerman and I'm very glad you joined us here today for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. A metaphysical ministry is all about the fact of how you create your reality and how you can observe all the reality that exists because what you hear, taste, touch, smell, and see, using your five senses, you're only going to be able to be part of less than 1% of the total world that exists. We begin every week with a happy share, and my happy share is I gave a talk today. For me, I give lots of talks, but this is the most important one because it's all about determining your optimal health and your optimal happiness. It's the key factor that most people are totally unaware that they're not doing. And in fact, because they're unaware, they're causing serious health issues, shortening their life and definitely diminishing their life quality. Anyway, I gave the talk today and it was in a room with high ceilings and a very stimulating environment. And I'm really happy because I didn't get dizzy. I didn't worry about losing my balance. And even though it was a very noisy place, my listeners were able to hear me. So yeah, that's my happy share for today. What's your happy share? Why don't you go ahead and let us know down there? Or even better yet, go on over to the happy share movement and tell us what it is. How do you do that? Just click to leave a comment on one of my happy shares. Now, back to the question of do you ever feel alone or lonely or maybe even invisible like you don't matter? The thing is, you are never, ever alone. You are a divine spirit living a human experience. But your soul, your spirit, that's who you are always. And you have angels and you have guides and you have other entities whose names I don't know maybe you don't know but all you have to do is call them and they're there for you maybe you can see them maybe not maybe you'll feel their energy maybe not I know when my mom's spirit comes to visit me she rearranges the pictures that I have hanging on the wall and sometimes she rearranges the very large area rug that I have in my great room. And I'm telling you, this is a big thing. I don't know how she does it, but she totally moves it to a different location. There are other entities who come to visit me, and I know them because I recognize how they appear for me. If there's anybody who you love very much who's transitioned to the next plane, when you call them, they're there for you. When you meditate and you ask for your angels, please, to let you know their names. When you ask for your spirit guides to please let you know their names. When you ask for your higher self, your spirit, your soul, to let you know what your name is, and then you listen. You will get your answers. Listening isn't necessarily done with the ears. It might be something you observe with your eyes, or with an experience, with a touch, with things you overhear. There's a whole, whole lot of ways to recognize the messages coming to you. But what's most important here is you can learn to communicate with your spirit with your guides, with your angels, with the universe, God, whatever word you need. You don't need somebody else to do it for you. If there's something in your life that you want to have that you don't have right now, go on up there. Take a look at the home space page. It's requests that people made to have things in your life that they don't have now. And you can let us know what you want by putting your name down there. It'll also appear on that page. And then you tell everybody you know to come back to this page. Do it at least once a week. Read each name and the request. It makes a thought that's going out to the universe, and the universe always acts on a thought, makes it bigger. So if you have five people who are reading your name and request, it's bigger than just you. And if you have a thousand people, well, that's a whole lot bigger than just you. 
and always now the universe only gives you what's in your highest and best interest and only when it's in your highest and best interest but then that's a whole nother topic for me to talk about how to ask so stick with me if you got any questions that you'd like me to deal with you gotta let me know down below in the comments I really appreciate your clicking like and share and if you haven't done so already please go on over there if you give me your name and email I'll send you a copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path I wish you a week filled with blessings and the knowledge that you are surrounded with love that in each moment you're held with love in light with a capital L you're never ever alone many blessings